Hey, Austin. Yes, James? Guess what I have. What? The Meats. All right, I know y'all haven't seen the video yet, but since we're on YouTube, and apparently this is what you do, is you like the video before you even see it, and hit the subscribe button, because obviously you love the video even though you haven't seen it yet. Exactly. Today on Today with AJ, we're gonna be trying out Arby's new bacon, beef, and cheddar sandwich. But not only that, this is actually gonna be James' first time trying Arby's, correct? Yes. That is correct. So we also got him their number one. He's also going to try that before we get into this. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started and try the original on this. Yeah, and we'll get James's first take on Arby's. Okay. Well, just feeling that it's pretty heavy, but when I got this one over <laughs> here, the specialty sandwich, it's like two to three times the weight of this one. It is way heavier. Oh. I was kind of surprised with how light that one was. Yeah. Comparatively. So, okay. You know, it looks, yeah. looks pretty good. Surprised we didn't even cut it this time, but normal sandwich. Got some cheese. Oh, I oh, came with that. Fried onions. We got looks like roast beef. Mm-hmm. Brisket, maybe. Maybe brisket. Alright, here we go. Take a good bite. How was your first ex your first experience with Arby's? So I always see the Arby's commercial with the, the meats, essentially. And they don't play around with the meat. You know, they put a good amount of meat on that, which personally yeah. I like. And there's a good ratio of bun to go with it. I could do without the mayonnaise, but, oh. you know, it's not too much mayonnaise on it. It's a really good sandwich to be starting off with, you know? Yeah. And um, you know what? I don't know if I've ever tried this Arby sauce. Yeah, I should try that too. So I'm going to try it real quick. Just for... I think another good thing about trying, for oh. the first time trying this, is that it has the toasted bun on that. That's a good also added flavor. Very interesting. What is this? I really had no expectation for what it's supposed to be. So from the smell, I'm going to guess that it's a barbecue sauce. It's a very vinegary barbecue sauce, I, I think. I think that's what they're going for. The ingredients are tomato paste, corn syrup. It's really sweet. And then the next ingredient is vinegar, high fructose corn syrup again. Of course. Salt. Yeah, so the flavors I'm getting is the sweetness and the vinegar, for sure. Well, overall, it's a good first time choice. The number one, the original. I definitely recommend it since it's my first time actually trying Arby's. But now, ultimately, Arby's new sandwich that they just came out with. We're gonna go ahead and give a shout out on that one. And what is the sandwich called? It is the Arby's Bacon and Beef and Cheddar Sandwich. All right, let's open this up. Okay, now oh. I see why. <laughs> Here, give me one sec. Get a knife. You are joking with this. It's a big knife you have. Now that we're ready to cut something. <laughs> Go ahead and Let's get cut into it. this. Get rid of this stupid plastic bag. I don't need protection from your cheesy gooiness. First thing I did see though was the cheese just oozing out a little bit. It's gonna be kind of hard to cut at this. Don't mind breaking the box or cutting the table. Yeah, it's just a table. All right, I think that's a clean cut. All right, man, let's show the audience how much meat is in this. Pull this out. Oh gosh. Oh, it's soggy on the bottom. Is it? Juice is coming out. All right, y'all ready? Oh, oh, look at all that drippy meat. drip. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this that's is a huge. good. Oh my gosh, that's a good inch on it. Okay, uh, yeah, I will say the price feels a little more justified now <laughs> because it was $7.99 just for the burger without a meal, and I think with the meal it was 10 something. But seeing that much meat. Kind of makes me forget. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, meat is expensive. Oh yeah. Well, let's go ahead and dig in, man. I'm, yeah, I'm get ready to try this. Ooh, that's messy. I feel it. It is a messy sandwich. A lot of sauce, a lot of juice going everywhere, a lot of cheese. But oh, man, man, it is delicious. Yeah, that tastes really good. My first bite had a pretty big piece of fat. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it was good fat. I enjoyed that. One thing I might change is the bacon flavor. What? I like what? 
I, like I want bacon. more bacon. You want more bacon? I, you know, I could agree with you on that. So on this, I do get a little bit. It looks like it's thinly sliced bacon on there, which I'm not gonna knock on that. I would like to have more bacon, but I mean, look how much meat they put on this sandwich. So much meat, an inch worth of meat on here. Yeah, I'm actually. Tastes good. I really don't see the bacon on mine. Maybe no. I got the bacon. Do you I mean, have bacon on yours? Yeah, I got a good amount of bacon. You sure? I didn't. I, I don't think I had any bacon in mine. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, no wonder I, I felt like it was missing bacon. <laughs> I'm going to do the bro thing and ask if you want to bite in my sandwich. You know, I owe it to the viewers to get the real taste of the sandwich, even though they didn't give me my side a piece of bacon. It's kind of only on the side here. Yeah, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the, the top of this bun has a little bit more of like oh. a poppy seeds and some crisp red onions on top of that similar to what a everything bagel has adds just a tad bit of flavor to it but honestly this is my first time actually having arby's and in comp comparison to the original burger i mean i would say they're both really good but overall the cheddar and the meat and the bacon on this sandwich makes it a really good sandwich first sandwich to try or i guess second sandwich to update what i said go ahead the bacon actually makes it taste way better I was, I'm kind of sad that I missed it out over here. Well, congratulations, Arby's, man. My first impression on this, it's a good sandwich and a good place to go to. So if you haven't tried Arby's, go ahead and give it a chance. I don't know why you wouldn't have, would have something against it, but overall, the sandwiches are pretty good from yeah. the two that I tried. I'd say we give, we both give it a thumbs up for you to go get it. Mm -hmm. And remember to be your best. I'm going to eat some of these, man. This is actually a good sandwich to have.